Hey, Steve Conrad here, and I wanted to start my third video off by saying thank you. I really appreciate the feedback and responses that some of you left me for my first two videos. I sincerely hope you're able to find some way to implement that information and apply it to make your next lifestyle change easier to maintain. In this last video, I want to share one final secret to making a lifestyle change last. That's clarity of goals and clarity of habits. The reason we create habits is to make our lives easier. Each and every day, we're flooded with tons of information, stimuli, and decisions. And if we had to process and make decisions based on all of that information, it would be like trying to run your computer with every program open and every operation running at the same time. Just like the computer, your brain would either overload or take a massive amount of time to complete any single action. So instead, the brain creates habits to help minimize these decisions and make your life easier without having to process all the information you're taking in. But once a habit is created, it becomes very difficult to change. This is because the action becomes a reflex and you can find yourself doing it without even knowing. In college, I remember living in the same building for three years. In my last semester, I moved from one apartment to another but located in the same building. On my way home from class that semester, there were several occasions where I was distracted from the long day only to look up and realize that I was standing in front of the wrong apartment when I got home. That's because when we're tired, stressed, or distracted, then the brain is spending additional energy concerned or focused on whatever's causing that distraction. This means most of our other actions are all put on autopilot. Each of your habits, when you first created them, served very specific functions. But as time passes, your priorities and your goals tend to change, but old habits tend to stick around. A friend of mine works as a personal trainer in San Francisco and shared a story with me about one of his clients trying to make a lifestyle change. She struggled with cutting fast food out of her diet and would frequently stop on her way home from work to grab her favorite value meal. The habit would usually get triggered because while she was caught in traffic on her way home from work, and this is in the Bay Area, so traveling just a few miles can easily take 10 or 20 minutes. The fast food would be right in the middle of her commute. So every day she would be stopped in traffic, she could see it, she could smell it, and eventually she would take the exit and break down and buy it. What eventually broke her habit was amazing in its simplicity. My friend suggested that she take a slightly different route home from work. Um, she'd never considered this alternate route because the reason she drove the way she did was because it was the fastest way home. Now her habit was originally created because of time efficiency. She wanted to get home as soon as possible, so she took the fastest route, even though it took her right by fast food. But with this new clarity on her goals and her habits, she decided to change her driving habit. The new route, while it was about five minutes longer, um, has almost entirely stopped her fast food habit. The cue of sitting in front of the restaurant, seeing and smelling the food every day stopped, so the habit had nothing to anchor to. This is what I mean by gaining clarity of habit and clarity of goal. Every year or so, it's important to stop and reflect on some of the habits that you've developed and make sure that they're still in line with your goals. We've all created habits for very good reasons, but I believe it's absolutely critical that you occasionally reflect and reevaluate whether or not those habits are still serving you. And if they're not, then it's time to start engineering your environment for success. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't seen my first two videos, please check them out at fitculturestudio.com and be sure to come to my live talk on Monday, April 24th from 6.30 to 7.30 p.m. at Fit Culture Studio in Nevada City. This presentation will help you master the process of engineering your environment for success, looking at the mental, physical, emotional, and social factors that influence your behavior and teach you to learn to leverage those different areas and help you move closer towards your goals. I'll also be diving into more detail on how habits are made and will include strategies for shifting even the worst habits into new empowering habits. So be sure to go to fitculturestudio.com or follow the link attached to this video and reserve your spot today. Space is limited, so be sure to reserve a spot and I'll see you on the other side. Hey everyone, I'm back real quick to let you know that if you attend my talk on April 24th, you'll also get the opportunity to join me in Fit Culture's next 14 day challenge based on my talk, Engineering Your Environment for Success. I don't wanna give away too much, so the details and registration will be available at the end of the talk on April 24th. I hope to see you there.